years later is a series where I take a look back on the past, pop culture, and cinema and see if films that are 10 more years older still hold up. Today's episode... Wishmaster. I've never heard of this franchise. You got four movies. I thought it sounded interesting. So I was like, it's already close to Halloween air in September on its anniversary. The Wishmaster himself, the Jin, is actually really cool. I do like the design and the way it actually comes out prosthetically. One big thing about this movie so far, the prosthetics are amazing. They're actually really damn good. That first scene of him coming out of that body and then taking over, that was awesome. And then that scene of the statues, I'm not sure if it was stop motion or a bit of both CGI and stop motion, but him summoning those statues, the fact that that one girl our main character was really cool the only issue are the characters i don't care about them like our main girl accidentally released it this gym red gym it's like okay cool we're not gonna follow this gin because of budget so we have to follow our you know human characters which aren't that interesting care about them that i don't really care about the movie but then the issue with that is the gin is so cool that i'm actually willing to forgive it to be honest i'm like you know what probably should not look this over but i'm gonna look over that you know and so the only things i care about is the gin and what he does and the majority of the movie is following our main girl, our main character, and our other characters that I don't really care about. They give me no reason to, and if they do, it's a really weak motive or reason. And so eventually, at the end, where our main character locks up the Jin, I was kind of saddened by it. I was like, God damn it, we're not gonna get more of him, and what we do later on in the later movies. But as far as this movie, that kind of sucked. He's locked back up in the gym. So overall, does Wishmaster hold up? If you're willing to forgive like the majority of the character stuff, then yes. If not, then it doesn't hold up. What does hold up? Up is the wishmaster himself the gin and the prosthetics that all holds up the movie overall though i'm inclined to say no but i want to say yes yes and no there we go that's my answer that's not a cop out maybe it is a cop out but based off of this first movie i just really like the gin all right but yeah it holds up question mark Wishmaster 2 is even better because the Jin actually grants wishes. Like, I forgot that he grants people wishes. And throughout the whole first whole movie, he's in his, like, demon form. In this movie, he's overtaken, like, a prisoner. All the things that he does in prison is awesome. He's talking to criminals that are, like, stone cold killers, right? That will fuck you up. And the Jin is overtaking this guy who doesn't look like the most intimidating person. And so he grants all them wishes. All these wishes ends in, in horrific deaths. The bar scenes where he's like, let me get out of these goddamn jail bars. And he drives his guy to this goddamn jail bar it looks awesome it was bloody there's one kill where he just bends like a human's back and then there's even like a chest rip which is i'm assuming a nod to aliens opens up and rips apart that was amazing and so they definitely spent a lot more money on prosthetics and kills because that is what i'm here for there still has to be like a human element a story i don't care about you guys and that's there in this movie not as much because there are scenes of him in prison just messing around and then i guess there's even more cgi in here which you got the human stuff that are not bad they're just fine they're boring but then the actual bad thing about this movie is the very outdated cgi stuff doesn't look the best i think there's one like green screen moment between him and this like girl and he's like moving around doesn't look the best circle beams i think being shot out and then i think the best character is that one guard that's like super hella tough there's a prisoner trying to hit him and he just like tanks it he just throws prisoners up and down like that's actually a really cool character just this real hard-ass guard that's willing to put any prisoner in their place the reason why he's going around grinding wishes is because he needs souls he needs a lot of souls to just get more powerful and get more strong but that isn't gonna happen because all the other characters they have to do something you know that's always the disappointing part of like oh i don't care about these characters but anyways they get rid of the gin they put him back in the gym by this point though it is getting kind of repetitive hopefully the next movie doesn't open up with the same way of like some person accidentally knocks out this gym and he comes back and takes over a person hopefully that doesn't happen but this second movie is a lot better than first one there's a lot more gin a lot more prosthetic effects a lot more gory kills a lot more kills less human stuff but with bad cgi and just a lot more more fun because the gins in prison granting wishes to tough prisoners and watching them die was pretty entertaining and satisfying so the third one guess what guess how it opens up this very same way the gin is accidentally released somehow through an accident this time it's overtaking a professor at a university that's an issue because most of this movie doesn't have the gin in it and there's less kills less gore and it's all taking place at this university in which we have to follow all these kids and students and they're not interesting at all not in the slightest one good like heart kill where i think there's a cgi heart and then it explodes that was really awesome and then 
then is there anything else oh i guess throwing out blood i think one of the kids or students they like start throwing out blood that was kind of cool aside from that these students at a university doing things you know school stuff sex drugs probably i don't know the gent continues to keep asking these wishes and so he probably wants souls again and asking these kids about questions and wishes and whatnot there's even one point where i guess the angel michael shows up as like a big opposite to the jinn i think one of these students they're like religious or something they get like the bible and then they call on the powers of archangel michael and this sounds so stupid it's actually stupid but it's so ridiculous as well that it's like okay i guess i'll accept this not as a good film but just as a dumb ridiculous out of left field moment michael the archangel i guess they're in a church and there's like you know church stuff i don't know what church stuff is but they're in a church building at a university and michael shows up it's so stupid and then obviously there's less gin so they didn't have any prosthetic stuff on probably to see the budget and so yeah like this movie also reminds me of scary movie parodies where they're at the school parodying scream this university also reminds me of like scream i know what you did last summer this is like early 2000s so i mean all of that was like late 90s but then it also bled into the early 2000s with like the ring and gary little girls with long hair this one did not do it for me if there were good kills sure you know what it's a dumb movie with michael in it but whatever but since there's like barely any memorable kills less of the gin which means that the budget went down this entry is just it's dumb forgettable it's still fine maybe bad maybe bad because you're not really missing much from this one and then the fourth and final one as of 2022, guess how it opens up the movie. You guessed it, some accidental gem thing popping out and he's released. The one thing I will say about this one is that they try something different in terms of the gen and the lore. Turns out there's more other versions of the gen or his brothers or sisters or family or whatever. And then this one, he actually falls in love, which again, sounds stupid, but I kind of commemorate them because you had three movies of the same shit. This final one is like, you know what? Let's just do something different. It's getting stale and boring so this Jin falls in love with a woman named lisa she i think she's the one that opened it and whatnot and throughout the movie it's like okay this is the same old same old you know there's not a lot of kills in it but what we get in return is this love story which again it sounds ridiculous but i don't mind it because i binge watched all four of these in a night watching this fourth one it was really refreshing because again it got really stale and so lisa's also having trouble with her boyfriend sam who's in a wheelchair there's an accident the movie opens up with him i think having sex in like a cabinet or something like cabin in the woods how much are they in love in present time they're not doing so well and then every time her and the gin gets closer and closer she gets like these sexual dreams the gin gets these weird ass dreams as well of being like there's something else that i'm feeling i don't know what this feeling is why am i feeling these things and he's trying to help out his like family or brothers like i don't know what they are but gin brothers and sisters i think they explain it kind of but i was just so like huh i guess they're expanding on the lore and then somehow through magic shenanigans sam is able to walk again i think is it because of lisa and the gin i think it's connected to that either way somehow some way he walks right but then he's doing this because he's a sacrifice in order to get rid of Jin and save lisa and so that whole love story comes back all around which was i guess nice like i didn't care about their actual love because he was already jealous the fact that she could do what she wants and he like feels doesn't have anything to protect over lisa i'm walking again sacrificing myself to get rid of the Jin and the rest of the Jin lore and whatever so that was nice and so while this one is very different and in many ways it's far better it's also like a bit kind of weird and kind of adjust to it but then when you adjust to that it's not a bad movie it's just the fourth movie in a franchise that to be honest i don't know why it became a franchise but it just has and you know what it ends as of again 2022 on a all right no it doesn't end horribly or great it's fine at where it's at right now if it ever comes back sure i'm not like you know i want a reboot to this franchise because i don't think it needs to but or actually you know what maybe it does maybe it needs a modern take on it because the first one's not even not that great it's okay really it's not really good but yeah fourth one's okay and that was it for wish master if i were to rank these the third one would be dead last because it's just really boring university kids sure and there's like less gin in it which sucks next would be the third one because they attempt something to do different in the last movie stupid love story but you know what it's better than three it's not boring and then the first one because while it's got great prosthetics and the gin looks cool most of the movie you have to follow this main character that's not that interesting nor in the other movies as well but that's most of the movie and it kind of drags and then 
then the best one to me is the second one because the djinn is making wishes in a prison and so every time it cuts to that and not the other stuff it's really good it's a lot of fun and the kills are amazing as well maybe not all of them but a lot of them are really good so does it hold up wishmaster no like as a franchise nah it really doesn't again i really wouldn't say it's a good movie i only like it because the djinn is awesome i do like that granny wishes is cool so i'm kind of giving it a pass really but then the second one is even better it's not a franchise that i would say it's my favorite the djinn is cool i just wish that the movies were a bit better but it is what it is does it need a modern remake sure you know what wouldn't really mind that actually but who really wants that aside from like horror fans you know is it gonna make a lot of money probably not so that is it for me this has been the road so far and thank you for watching